play hard, grind hard, stay hard, no, we stay out, make your head out, but I just can't stop, won't stop hustling, but I just... What up, grinders and grind dads? It's your boy, The Black Abstract. You're locked in once again, and I appreciate you. So apparently, Amazon are doing their workers dirty. Uh, according to the Seattle Times, it says, Amazon delivery drivers scoff at companies claim that its workers don't urinate in bottles. Uh, <laughs> Amazon sparked a firestorm of derision when it pushed back on social media against claims that workers urinate in bottles because they are pressured to skip restroom breaks to keep up with the company's productivity goals. Listen, productivity goals or not, I ain't pissing in no damn bottle. I'm I'm well endowed anyway. That's not happening. But listen, uh, I'm pulling over somewhere. Tim Hortons, McDonald's, Burger King, anywhere. If I got to piss on the side of a customer's house, I will do that before I piss in the bottle. I will piss on the side of the van, on the van, if I have to. Uh, it says, the care cuff will begin Wednesday when Amazon's official news account on Twitter jumped to the defense of the company's retail chief, Dave Clark, who had been taking fire for saying Amazon's $15 minimum wage made it the Bernie Sanders of employers. <laughs> uh Paying workers fifteen an hour, fifteen dollars an hour, doesn't make you a progressive workplace when you union bust and make workers urinate in water bottles. U.S. Rep. Mark Polkin said, tweeted back, uh, "You don't really believe peeing in the, the peeing in the bottles things, do you?" Amazon's official Twitter account replied, "If that were true, nobody would work for us." That's not true, man. People, listen, it's we just we just we in a pandemic still. People are pressed for work. They not about to try to jeopardize their job. So if some people think like that. They they like, if I got to piss in this bottle or something, I, that's what I got to do. That's just how some people think. Not I, said the black guy. Um, on social media and in interviews, drivers delivering Amazon packages said the company's claim was out of touch with their reality. In lawsuits, books, and media reports, drivers have repeatedly said that they result to urinating in bottles, bushes, and coffee cups because the number of packages they need to deliver or else risk termination leaves them no time to find a restroom. Could you imagine coming out your house and seeing an Amazon worker pissing in your bushes? You're like, yo, what yo, what are you doing, bro? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> uh, one employee said, I bought a Shiwi. <laughs> a Shiwi. <laughs> She said, I bought a Shiwi and peed in bottles, former employee uh, said in an interview, referring to the funnel-like female urinating device on exceptionally busy days, she said. I had a, a co-worker at a job that I, I used to work at. I used to do construction, and they had a Shiwi. It was my truck mate, too, and you'll see her over there pissing, and she'd be, like, standing straight up. You, I'm like, yo, how are you standing up? Oh, I bought a Shiwi. I'm like... Oh, you're disgusting. But uh, but she said, uh, on exceptionally business days, I've peed my pants at work. Ain't no way. Ain't no fuck. Come on, man. That's 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 just that's ridiculous. Uh, drivers are regularly expected to deliver up to 300 packages in a 10-hour shift, a regime that a 2017 class action lawsuit against Amazon said left drivers in Washington State little time to take legally mandated breaks. Amazon delivery service contracts has recently settled that suit for eight point two million. Holy shit, they paying out too. So it got to be some truth to this, man. Uh, the lack of rest and meal breaks was part of the culture for Amazon delivery drivers. Said Seattle driver uh, in a lawsuit, it was just the way it was. Amazon assigned us a certain number of packages that were required to deliver in the time allotted by Amazon, according to Amazon's instructions. If we do not finish with the allotted time, he said, Amazon will issue negative marks against us. Man, that's crazy. Uh, I don't know, man. I listen. I I've heard of them doing this before. I've know somebody that was going to work for them, and they decided not to take job because they knew employee that worked there, and they said it was like this. These were the conditions, and um, I noticed though, since this came out, my package has been late. But when before this came out, my package was getting delivered on time. So maybe no, nah, I'm just joking. Listen, nah, that's not the way to go about this. Uh. I understand, you know, you guys got a, a reputation to main, maintain and uphold with the prime, but listen, you got to treat your employees fairly. Uh, they're the ones that provide, um, that that put out the the shit for you. So if it wasn't for them, you gotta you gotta fucking 
you wouldn't be in the position you are, you know? So uh, I was always told, treat people like you want to be treated, you know? Um, read the One Minute Manager book, guys. I, I, re- used to, I read that book when I was a manager at one point in time. Uh, you got to give praises, rep- reprimands, but you want to give more praises than reprimands, you know? And you got to treat these guys good, man. They out there busting their ass in the pandemic. Take care of these guys, man. I heard all of his, all of this is over because they, I guess they oppose the unions. The, the employees want a union uh, like atmosphere, and Amazon doesn't want to do it. And I see why. You know, every company is against un, unionizing, but you got to treat your workers fairly, man. You can't have them out here pissing in bushes and shit. Like, what what are you doing? What are you doing, Amazon? And listen, I'm not about to cancel Amazon. I don't care. Uh uh-uh. uh. Uh uh. There's a lot of things I had to cancel. Over the cup, Bill Cosby, R. Kelly, um, uh, administration, <laughs> presidential administration. Um, it's a lot of things I've had to cancel in the, these last few years. I'm not about to cancel Amazon. No, that's not one of them. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, Amazon, you gotta you gotta get this right. But if you don't get it right, you still got a loyal supporter. No, I'm just kidding. Post your comments below. Make sure you like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Till next time, peace, love, and prosperity. I am the Black Abstract.